All right, so this is Tim Kruger. Say hi, Tim. How's it going? So we are out at Outer Bike 2018 in Moab, and uh, you're showing me something. We're yeah. Gonna, we're gonna show you're gonna show me through a bunch of other tires, but you're showing me something cool right now. Yeah. yeah. So what do we got? Well, so we're with uh, Terrain Tires. We are a full-on tubeless uh, tire company. We stress uh, simplifying the purchase experience for tires. We make all of our tires tubeless and folding. And all of our tires come in two options, light or tough. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. Yeah. Um, we're constantly adding as we're growing. We're only a year and a half old. We've been uh, pretty young on the market, but we're constantly growing. What we have here is our new Chunk 2.6. Um, kind of in the way that uh, tires are going. Uh, we've gone from regular mountain tires to we've gone to plus tires, and then we've gone to 2.8s. And we're basically now, within tires, we're filling in all of the gaps, all the way from from 2.0 to 5.0, um, we're finding ways to make bikes and tires that fill in every sort of little gap in between. So, our new Chunk 2.6 filling that kind of that mid-fat segment with a very aggressive tire that's uh, made to fit some of these bigger suspension bikes that are being made yeah. uh, to fit it. In this case, it's on our, our Ibis Ripley LS, which is a, a bike that was made to clear 2.6 tires. Um, and uh, we've been doing a lot of our testing out here in the West. and. Um, been excellent as far as its ability to hold a line through almost any loose condition. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. So show us, show yeah. us what we got, uh, we got going on here. Right on. So, um, 2.6. Uh, this particular tire is designed to be on a 35 millimeter rim. Okay. Uh, and this is I. They're, it's their 35 millimeter. Uh, this is an industry 930 mil rim, okay. so it's a little bit, a little bit narrow. So, okay. um, the one thing we are seeing now with uh, with tires is that there's so many tire variations on the market, so many rim variations on the market. Um, you can really play with your sizing. So, yeah. for instance, this tire on a 30 mil rim is is about a 2.5 inch width. Okay. It's designed for a 35 mil rim. On the 35 mil rim, it's a 2.6 inch width. Okay. So it kind of does it does both. So how do you deal with that then? How do you deal with a customer who's like, you know, comes to you and says 2.6, whatever? Yep. Uh, do you just say, hey, it's recommended? Like yeah, we have I mean, on our website. All of our tires have a recommended rim width range. Okay. Um, and so you you know your best results are in that range. Right. Exactly. Yep. It's it's easy to say, but it's another oh, yeah. to deal with uh, customers. Yep. That there are uh, there are some. Uh, in the industry as far as new ways to measure tires so you can say this tire plus this rim is going to equal this width right nothing nothing's really standardized yet but we're uh, there's people working towards that okay. for sure so, you, so because I'm not all I know about tires is yeah. basically use can you since we have this here and you see yeah. the different lines in here oh sure um, can you give us a little a quick education on the general person doesn't really know sure like what are we looking at here sure so when you're when you're dealing with a tire um, there's many different features that are gonna create different results right yep. so the first thing um, you have with a tire is your tread height right so this particular tire is a five six seven meaning five millimeters six millimeters seven millimeters okay right that's a pretty deep lug tire okay it's about the tallest you're gonna see and so you get into a mud spike, which might be eight millimeters tall. Okay. Uh, this is some of the deepest slugs you're going to see. So it's considered an aggressive tire, all the way down to, let's say, um, well, what we make for a gravel tire uh, is 2.1 millimeters of tread height in the middle. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, based on the amount, of, your tread height is really important because um, essentially more tread height is more traction. You have a taller lug is going to have more surface area to bite the, the ground, yep. but it's also more weight. More tread height is simply more rubber, and rubber weighs a lot, yeah, yeah. right? So How much is this, the 29 by 2.6, this, this is, is this a, the light version, or is this, this is the... A, this is our tough casing, tough. so this is about an 1100 gram tire. Okay. Um, into our, our light casing is right around 1000 grams for this tire. Okay. Um, and then, so, then you go into the, the lug construction. Um, we'll do a little close up here for you. Yeah. There you go. When, uh, when dealing with a tire, you're, you're, you're doing one of two things um, to create forward motion with a tire. You're okay. either creating mechanical friction with the ground, okay. which is where, say, mechanical friction with the ground is how a tire works on pavement. Okay. Right? You literally have uh, friction surface and something that's doing it. And then you have mechanical keying. Mechanical keying is where you have a rock and a knob. And the knob is literally put hit in the rock or okay. against it. So. Um, you're always trying to balance those out, right, as far as, and trying to figure out what surface it's going to be good on, so, um, a big open tire like this with a tall lug has more mechanical keying 
than uh, a tire with a short, um, a short tread height. Yep. Right? But it also has more drag, mm -hmm. right? A big lug like this, every time that every time every lug hits the ground, it has to compress or fold over or move. And that's resistance. Right? So that's one of the things we try to do with Terrain is especially uh, educate people about that and talk about how it works because there's a lot of bad marketing in tires of like. You know, there's a lot of bad marketing. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of bad marketing everywhere, but yeah. especially in tires, there's tire companies that say you know, our tire works amazingly perfect in all conditions, has no drag, and it's just crap, right? Uh, basically, mechanical friction is both traction and drag. You literally you elevate it, you get more of both, right? So the more tra and same thing with with, um, with the how you get mechanical keying by elevating that tread height, mm -hmm. and then that tread height, um, and then also changing. We'll talk about the, the shape of the knobs. Yeah. yeah. But um, see, this is good. This isn't. Yeah. This isn't your normal. Uh, exactly. Like, hey, just show us your product and whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But uh, but you balance. It's always a balance. Okay. You get more traction. You get more friction. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of what we talk about. Is yeah. Um, people are gonna people are gonna say, well, I want a traction tire. Well, yeah, we have an excellent traction tire. Is it draggy? For sure, it's definitely gonna be more draggy than say our McFly, which is a three wheel tread height and faster rolling tire, but it also has more traction. It's just simply, simply a sliding scale. So then we come in um, to the tire, and when we were talking about that mechanical keying, um, mechanical keying is essentially an edge of the tire catching on a piece of terrain, a rock, an edge of a rock, a, a tree root um, compressing into the dirt and can, so what you get um, is all of these surface areas are what's actually keying into something and you know allowing the tire to grab the earth yep. and move you forward. Um, more more of these you know is obviously better. So what you get when you add sipes here, the sipe because sipe the, is the line. The, the sipe, little line the sipe is the, the cut exactly. What you get is when this tire is going to deform touching the ground. It's going to open up this next uh, edge, right? There you go. So, adding more sipes adds more potential ways for the tire to grab the ground, okay. and therefore more traction. But again, can also allow that lug to deform more. Mm -hmm. And the more the lug deforms, the more drag you might have. Okay. Right? So then we can also. So more is not always better when it comes to no. Anything, but it's it's siping simply that. a sliding scale. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we change the direction of them because what we want is. We want some of these knobs to be giving us forward traction and mm -hmm. braking traction. Yeah. We also want some of these knobs to be giving us cornering traction. Yep. Right? So that's where you see this one has a sight going this way. And then also where you have um, an edge knob always has you know a nice big shelf here because that's the, the shelf that's basically catching the ground. And these are big. Yeah, like, yeah. This is and they're big. Burly. Um, and uh, that's what's catching the ground and basically grabbing the terrain as you're turning a corner and keeping it from sliding out. Yeah. Mm -hmm.